Hey everyone, my name is Ben Chaish. Uh, I'm obviously not in my studio today, but I am out and about using the thing we're gonna be talking about today, which I think is just about the best every day. If you're just gonna get one lens for a Leica camera, this is it. And that is the new Voigtlander 35 millimeter F2 Ultron version two. For those of you who have followed the channel, you've seen my review of the original 28 Ultron as well as the 28 Ultron version 2. And that lens obviously is absolutely fantastic. You can also go back and see my video on the Zeiss 35 millimeter F1.4 Distagon. Obviously, I really love that lens. It's just really big. And so ever since then, I just have sort of not been shooting with 35 millimeter lenses. Anytime I wanna shoot 35, I've always just picked up my uh, X100V and just rolled with it like that. But when Voigtlander came out with the version two of this, I didn't really like version one because it looked like it was trying to be vintage. I really didn't like that focusing tab that they had for that. But this one feels amazing. And obviously, like, look how small this thing is. It is absolutely tiny and could not be better for just like an everyday type of lens. Now, just as a heads up, I wanna give a thanks to CameraQuest for sending this over for review. I don't get to keep it, but I am very, very much considering purchasing one. You can check the links down below uh, to shopcamerquest.com. Now, one of the more popular lenses for the Leica system, the lens that was one of the first 35s I ever tried, is that Voigtlander Nocton 35 1.4. It is I think even smaller than this, and it goes a stop faster, so to uh, 1.4 instead of f2. I never liked that lens. I didn't like how it rendered. I didn't like how soft it was. It was just glowy garbage to me in many ways, and not in a good way. Uh, there's a lot of lenses that have like a kind of a vintage glowy character. I just thought that was a bad lens. And I'm sure there are gonna be some of you who disagree with me and wanna fight me about that. Totally fine, just my own personal preference. Now, this lens, which is what we're talking about, has everything that I do want in a lens, on, especially on a Leica camera. It is obviously very, very small. Once you take the lens hood off, it is even smaller. And one of the things that I do miss about my M240s is that those cameras are black paint. The M10s are not, they're like black chrome, which like is kind of matte and obviously still looks fantastic. But adding this lens to this camera with the black paint just makes it look that much more fitting to the Leica aesthetic without trying to be vintage. Do you know what I mean? Like there's lenses out there that try to be vintage. This one just has that classic look without going overboard. The other thing about it is I have the version LH4N hood for this that fits. And I think that that is just the look that I'm going for here. The other hood that is kind of made for it has that vintagey kind of square, kind of not uh, textured design. Not a fan, but I am a huge fan of the look and the feel of this one in particular, um, especially just how it all, yeah, sits and feels and carries on the camera. Now, I think the thing about that is that for those of us who like Leica cameras, a lot of the part of it is just like the carry, the look, if we're being honest, and the experience of using a camera. I think the more that I've done photography and I'm coming up on 15 years of doing it professionally now, I'm realizing more and more and more that I am the type of person, and obviously if you look at the videos on this channel, that appreciates things that are a little bit maybe different and a little bit less about the specs, which I do consider, obviously, but so much more of what I wanna kind of convey and stuff in this channel and on my videos is 
the experience of using it. And with a Leica camera, that's a lot about why I use these, is because the experience and the use of it and how my brain thinks differently and how it feels and even how it looks, it looks like it's something I want to pick up and go use. This lens adds to that where other lenses that might be really, really good, like uh, the 28 Sumalux or the Zeiss 35, those lenses are great work lenses, but they aren't what I'm gonna reach for if I'm just gonna grab a camera and take a walk to the park with my kids, or I just wanna go out and do some street photography. Where this lens, it is, I believe, only 210 grams. I always talk about the Leica balance test. Like, can you be more flat and uh, just very much balanced more than this? Uh, it has the vintage look, it has the vintage aesthetic without being over the top. Now, all that being said, there are other lenses that also are very small and also feel amazing and all that kind of stuff. But what's the image quality like? My tests, this lens didn't blow me away in the same way that the 28 Ultron did, which is odd because I, I feel like 35s usually are easy to make sharper. That being said, it is plenty sharp for any use case that I would ever have. I would have zero issues taking this and using it on any type of paid gig. Most of the time I'm doing environmental portraits and weddings and elopements and stuff like that. And it is absolutely sharp enough for that by far wide open at f2 and it also sharpens up fantastic for things like landscapes and whatnot at f5.6 and usually to be honest i'm just bouncing back and forth while either using the m10 or my m6 and i'm shooting portraits and things like that at f2 and a lot of action movement and then anytime I want to do more of an environmental thing or, you know, get the scenery, I'm shooting at 5.6 and it's always given me results that I have been happy with. Now, I will say that the rendering is a little bit vintagey, not in a glowing way, but sort of in where the bokeh gets a little bit cat's eye, which again, I do not have an issue with. But if you are looking for a more clean, clinical rendering of sorts like that, 
this might not be the best lens for you. But that being said, I'm definitely someone that can appreciate some vintage look and feel, but it's not the thing that I'm always going for. And this has enough that it's interesting and unique to an extent without being overly vintagey and like too niche of a lens. It's definitely still an everyday lens that works really well in that regard. Another slightly interesting thing about this lens as well is while the rangefinder only focuses down to 0.7 meters, on the M10, I found that it does go to that 0.58 meters and I've still been able to focus. So I uh, don't know if that's something that only works with the M10, but it does and allows me to focus a lot closer. All that to say, if you were looking for either your first Leica lens or a fantastic walk around lens, this is kind of it. And to be honest, I've also been thinking about finding a way to, you know, spend four to $5,000 to upgrade it to a 35 Sumalux for quite a while now. But I think that uh, the combination of this lens along with also just still having the Zeiss 35 1.4 could be a really, really great combo and still significantly cheaper than buying a Sumalux. So thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in this lens, again, I will have uh, a link below. It's not an affiliate link or anything, but I still just appreciate Camera Quest for sending this out for me to try out. And I am most likely gonna be picking this lens up because I, again, don't really have anything bad to say about it. And it has been an absolute joy to use and brings me back to that feeling of why I have a Leica camera in the first place. So if you've made it this far, uh, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one.